Okay, welcome. Today I got one thing on my mind, and that is frustration with Victorinox. And I think it's best exemplified by this modified tool right here. This is a Victorinox Compact, but instead of a corkscrew, which, you know, everyone needs a corkscrew, right? Everyone? We have a Phillips. This is the one tool that Victorinox will never, ever make. Yeah, you'll never see this tool. And I'm about to explain to you just why that is the case. So I think it's safe to say that if this tool existed, we would all own one. Okay, it has pretty much everything we want, including a nail file on the back of the hook. Okay, this is basically the same setup as a Victorinox Compact. It has the extra pen slot as well. A pressurized pen which is always a great backup to have when you need to sign something it's compact it's elegant you know it can come in so many different colors because the plus scales you know they are available in so many colors but they will never make this they will never make this tool this tool will never exist and the reason that Victorinox is in this situation as well as Leatherman is they have reached a point where in order to improve they have to hurt the market of their other tools. Where will the Super Tinker sit? I think actually the Super Tinker is okay because it has the all. But there's a lot of other tools that would get hurt by this existence. And because of that, you won't see it because it'll end up hurting their inevitable market. They're the only ones competing with themselves at this point. Same thing with Leatherman. You'll notice that a lot of times when they come out with new tools, they try not to overlap all that much. They have less of an issue than Victorinox being that they've been around for so long. I mean, just take a look at how long it took for the Farmer X, the Pioneer 93mm series, to eventually come out. I mean, it's just come out recently. People have been asking for that and done modifications for that for years. What is the reason for them not having pocket clip at this point in time? So much so that we have, you know, people like Swiss Q Clip that actually are providing pocket clips for these 91 millimeter series and making profit off of it. What is Victorinox doing? This is the tool that I think everyone says no brainer should exist and doesn't. And the question also becomes like, why not have every single hook, which is relatively useless, not for most people. I mean, you can be like Felix Imler and you can be the, you know, the MacGyver and use your hook for all kinds of cool stuff like he does. But most of us don't get a chance to really do that. But a nail file, a diamond nail file that you can just run your finger over to, to kind of fix things. Oh, I mean, come on, that should be a no brainer, right? Sure. Increase, increase the price by a dollar, two bucks. That's fine. On every single tool with a scissor so that I can get a nail file. Why don't you do that? No idea. And of course, the Phillips. Isn't a Phillips so much more useful than a corkscrew on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, shouldn't it be? I don't understand. I mean, ugh. It would go even further than that. I mean, I can modify. Now, this is a square Phillips, so it's an older style, which I have modified to accept the Leatherman rebar exchanger. And when I use it in this orientation, I can actually, you know, spin it around my finger. I can use it in a T orientation. Now I have all my Leatherman bits with it. Ooh, isn't that cool? It's not that hard to modify even when you're using a standard round one. All I did was flatten four sides and we got it. It's locked in. Works great. Easy mod. By the way, you can do it with any, almost any set of files, tools, diamond files. Should happen, but it doesn't. There's a lot of questions I have about it, but I think the general consensus is this. Victorinox won't come out with these compact tools because they end up hurting their own market. This one implement alone is problematic for them. It's why they charge so much for the Victorinox Compact and many of the other tools that have it. 
if this were to exist, think about it. Every tool that you're currently seeing would be one layer smaller. You would have a compact huntsman, a compact um, field master, and so on and so forth. I mean, you would have all of these compact variants. And what would happen? Well, people like it smaller. They like it thinner. They like it more elegant. So they're going to end up hurting their own market. So we won't see that. But in the meantime, this is a very easy modification. And in future videos, I will actually show this step-by-step -step how to do this mod. It's a matter of just punching through. I'll show a couple pictures from it. I think you can get the general gist. But um, I do want to apologize to you guys over on YouTube. I, when I posted um, my modified Leatherman videos where I had a, like four that I was going to put up for Lotto, they were all on Instagram. And a lot of people ask me after the fact, are they still around? I would love to have access. Well, I, I will do that eventually for you guys. But for now, I wanted to make this an exclusive. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to offer this modified compact. This is a brand new compact that I've switched out the Phillips for the corkscrew. These are just placeholder scales for display, but I have a whole bunch of other scales, including the originals that I took off very carefully. So we have the original plus scales, as well as transparent blue, blue, and black. So what I will do is I'm going to sell this in a lotto format. So if you are interested, say I'm interested down in the comments, like and subscribe, and then I will assign you a number. In 48 hours from the time of posting this video, I will then do a drawing for this and whoever's number comes up will communicate either through Facebook or Instagram and get this to you guys. This is going to be a price of, what did I work out to do? I, I think because it's the first time and I'm going to take no cost for my labor, $80 for this one. If you want one of these scales, all you have to do is add 10 bucks, but I will absolutely change out the scales for you otherwise it will come with the standard red plus scales that it came with which are in perfect condition i was careful to remove them so there you go 80 bucks um plus shipping of course so if you're interested in this let me know put it in the comments and i will sign you a number and then do the drawing in 48 hours well thanks for stopping in um, I'm hoping to do more of stuff like this in the future for you guys on youtube it's a little bit complicated because of messaging but um, definitely we'll be getting some Leathermans out there so that you can actually put your hands on them. I will also be doing videos on the modification process, modification tools that you will need, both for Victorinox as well as for Leatherman. So hopefully that will come up in the future. I may even be able to get those parsing wrenches in bulk shipped here to the U.S. so that we can start distributing these things a little bit easier. You guys have a great one. Thanks again, and we'll talk soon.